This video is how to log into Zoom, especially for the first time. You're going to need two things in order to do this. One is going to be your school provided iPad. The other is going to be a pair of headsets. I recommend a pair that plugs in. All right, so let's get started. The very first step is going to be to open the Zoom app. The Zoom app looks like this, little blue icon with the video. And we're going to select sign in down here at the bottom. Okay. Step two is going to be to sign in with Google. Again, when you're signing in with Google, it's your at fmsd.org email. You can find this inside of the Ziploc bag that your iPad came in. There was a green paper and on that green paper is a label with both your FMSD email, which is again your Gmail, and your password. If you have forgotten these, please contact your teacher as soon as possible. So you're going to log in just this one time using Google with your at FMSD email. Okay. The next step is going to be, again, it brings you to this home screen on the app. So once you have signed in with your at fmsd.org email, you're not gonna have to re-sign into this app. So you would just open up the app next time. It's going to ask you some questions the very first time you log in. It's gonna ask if you would like to send notifications. Please say, don't allow. We do not need any more. The next step is gonna ask you, would you like to access your calendar? For this one, I would press OK. That way, if your teacher sends you any Zoom links or if there's any Google Classroom assignments that go with it or anything like that, you have an easy access link. So I would say OK for this one. All right, next up, this is how you get onto your Zoom. So once you're signed into the Zoom app, you're going to go ahead and select the Join Plus button. And then it's going to ask you for the meeting ID. This is what your teacher has given you. Your first and your last name will already be here on the screen. Please do not change this. The teacher needs to see your first and last name, so this will already be defaulted. You need to put in the meeting ID from your teacher. Once you put in the meeting ID, you're going to select the blue join button, and then it might ask you for a password and you'll put that in too. So, Zoom would like to access your camera, select OK. Zoom would like to access your microphone, select OK. And here's what our basic dashboard looks like. So at that point, you'll be admitted into the room. The dashboard is up here at the top. You have a couple options, one being to mute. Again, anytime you want to talk, you're going to have to unmute yourself by clicking on the button here. Anytime you see a red slash through the mute button, that means that no one can hear you. So when you see it look like this, where it's all white with no red slash, that means that you can speak and others can hear you. Now let's talk about the more button. Up here, if you select more, the three dots, you have a bank of different options. And again, if this toolbar ever disappears, all you have to do is very lightly tap on the screen and this toolbar will come back up again. So when you select the more, there's a couple options. There's reactions here, there's a chat button. So let's go ahead and look. One of the options you have is to do a round of applause. So if someone shared something and did a great job, you could always clap or give it a thumbs up or even the little party celebration. Um, and then once you click on it, you're gonna see it down here in the gallery view. So here I can see myself and I clapped for the person who was presenting. Another option we have is chat. Chat is another one that I love and there's two different features on chat. So when you click on more and chat, there's two different ways. The default is everyone. And you're gonna see this little tiny drop down bar in blue. If you click on that, it will show you everyone, meaning all students and teachers that are in the chat are gonna see your message. Or there's an option where you can just click on your teacher's name. I am Christine Simonson. So my students could click on my name here if they had a private question that they maybe didn't wanna raise their hand and ask in front of the whole class. They can send a private message to me. And that message would look, okay, so you would type it in, and again, it says to Christine Simonson, so that shows it's not to everyone, it's just to one person. And here's that message, I need help with number four. You can double check that it's private because it's going to say it up here in this orange color. It says privately. If it shows to everyone, it's going to show up in either a blue or a black. And again, it will say everyone here in parentheses. All right, I hope that helps and let's have a happy school year.